Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Uh, today I'm going to give you an update on this Stern Sea Witch that uh, we're going to be restoring. I did a first look at this and we've got some of the parts in so I'm going to do a summary of what it is we're going to do with this game so you can see the before and the after. Uh, so let's just bring you up to speed. This came in, uh, this is a friend of the clubs and uh, the MPU board was in it's in pretty bad shape. It's got um, electrolyte damage all over it. Um, we've got burns on the power driver board. The light driver board looks like it's okay. Sound board looks okay. Um, we got problems. Some of the inserts are all cupped and missing. Um, back glass doesn't look too bad from the front. If you look for, from the back, you can see. We've got flaking. I've already triple thicked it, so it's pretty well secured, but you could see it was starting to come, come delaminated. So now it's, it's stabilized. And uh, I just got a big old box of parts in from Pinball Life. So here's what we're gonna be putting in. This is a replacement rectifier board that's gonna go in the cabinet. This is gonna be probably the most time consuming part of uh, the initial restoration because let's pull it up and I'll show you I've done videos on this before so there's actually more detailed videos of me doing it but this is the old rectifier board and you can see it's all janked there's burned cables everywhere we're going to replace it with a, a brand new board we're going to pull all of these these wires uh, that are soldered onto the back of this board, we're going to cut them off and we're going to solder them onto the new board and then we're going to repin all these connectors. All along the way, um, I'll be checking to make sure that everything lines up because there's, these are all power lines, so you want to make sure that everything is color-coded, but you should always never assume 100%. So you want to look at the, the transformer diagram back here corresponding to the color codes here, corresponding to the voltages on the board. Just make sure, just in case somebody replaced a wire or even from the factory they used a non-standard wire color, you never know. This varied from game to game, from model to model, from different time periods, so you wanna double check that. That's gonna be the most time consuming because you kinda gotta lean over into the cabinet. This is not something that you can really pull out of the game and work on, at least not easily. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, see this, this, this thing was floating around in the game, causing all kinds of havoc. Uh, you can see one of the flippers was completely burned up and disassembled. Uh, you know, as I said, I think the guy said, oh, it worked when I put the game up. I'm like, yeah. I don't think so. So uh, we ordered uh, some coil stops, but they're the wrong kind. So we're gonna have to get some different coil stops. But let's take a look at all we're gonna do. Now this is a this is a bit of a pricey update because we're gonna replace multiple system boards. But if you're not a if you want something that's just gonna be really reliable and you're willing to spend a little bit more money, this is better than you know. If you only have one game and you like tinkering. By all means, this power driver board is going to be replaced. We have a, a brand new uh, Ultimate MPU board from Alltech that's gonna replace that. And new power cord. We've got, there's a few coils that are burned out. We're gonna be replacing those. And then of course, as I said, the rectifier board. And somewhere in here, oh, this is the MPU as well as the uh, power driver board underneath it. So we've got an ultimate power driver. Now this is definitely repairable and I will repair that, but we are going to replace, since this is not my game, this is uh, one of our club members games. So we're gonna, we're gonna make it all nice and really solid. This is about an extra 200 something dollars to replace that board, but it also um, will, improve the components, better components than what were on there before. Uh, the only other thing that you could do with this game to really make it super rock solid would be to replace these high voltage displays with LEDs. And we don't know what condition these guys are in, so until we get power on this thing, we won't know. 
So that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to be, I'm not going to do this myself. I'm going to get, get my buddy that owns the game to also help with this and we're going to work on it. So expect to see some more videos of the progress. We haven't even cleaned up this. This is going to be, uh, need a lot of, little bit of TLC, but it's actually in pretty good condition. There's some chipping right there that could be patched up. Luckily, it's a solid color. But it looks pretty good. Now, once we get this game working, we are also going to modify the rule set with the B-Saw system, the Ballystern OS that's uh, that I'm involved with that was uh, created by Dick Hamill. Um, we're going to have a, we're going to rewrite the code on this and we're going to do something really, really cool. Uh, this is going to be a great game that um, we will bring up to speed and do some neat stuff with. If you've got ideas for how the rule set in this thing could be rewritten or some features, by all means, put them in the comments. I will take into account anybody's suggestions and um, we'll see. And that will eventually be available. So that's where we're at. A short summary before the work begins. We're almost ready to get going. The first thing we're going to do is replace that rectifier board and then uh, kick into gear. So thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe and all that. And until next time, see you later.